Hello everybody, welcome back to more Pokemon Heart Gold and Soul Silver. Last time we explored Azalea Town, a guy named Kurt said that there were some Team Rocket troubles in Slowpoke Wells, so he took them out. And we also got the ability to craft Pokeballs from him. This time, we take on the gym. Let's go see what this gym is. Yo, Challenger, Bugsy made this gym. It's a huge nest of bug type Pokemon. Bugsy's young, but he's a master of bug type Pokemon. It's gonna be tough without my advice. Let's see, bug type Pokemon don't like fire. Flying type moves are super effective too. I didn't mean to, I, I held down my button the entire time. I didn't even lift it up. Anyways, a lot of people are super confused on Bugsy's gender, which I, honestly, I can't even fault him for that. But yeah, he is a dude. Let's just say that simply. Uh, the bug gym is quite literally just this thing of which rope goes where. Uh, I'm going to be challenging every single trainer, so yeah. You've come all this way crossing the web like a bug Pokemon. Allow me to teach you the charms of bug Pokemon. Now, I would expect this gym to be hard. Uh, if you don't know, bug type typically evolved super early, and considering it's a second gym, like that Caterpie should be fully evolved, but for some reason it just isn't. So, yeah, I don't know what they're doing in this gym. They probably just choose not to evolve their Pokemon. I'm going to try and get Venus up to level 17. And then we'll just kind of wipe with Fuego while we're at it. If you do have that Onyx still and it knows it's Rock-type move, Bug-types are also weak to Rock. So if you uh, have Chikorita and Chikorita's weak to Bug, hey, that Onyx is still useful. But you should have a lot more options for Pokemon at this point, not to rely on an Onyx. But it's also just very good to have a type resistance. I probably should be using Vine Whip. I feel like that would be do a lot. That would uh, do a lot more than Wrap, especially with the Miracle Seed and same type attack bonus. But I'm gonna just keep suffering because it's gonna take it out eventually. And the Caterpie goes down. I can't believe I'm saying that. As a tip, it's an accomplishment. 135, and Venus will get to level 17. You know what? If we get to level 18. Oh, Stun Spore. That is a move that I'd like to use. Stun Spore will not poison it, but rather it will paralyze it. No, actually, I think I'm going to keep Poison Powder. Yeah. Poison will do damage, whereas P Paralysis doesn't, so I feel like that's the benefit. And you're going to send out a Weedle just because I don't want to deal with the Poison type. I will switch into Fuego and take it out easily. I think that's how I'm going to navigate through this. Any po any part poison types will just res uh, be resolved through Fuego. Because you have your Ember. And the first Bug Trainer is down, with many, many more to go. Al, you proved how tough you are. I like the noise anyways, I don't know why. Um, which one is it actually? I believe it's the left one. Yep, let's go. I'm the GOAT! Alright, let's see. Does this guy have any actually good Bug-type Pokemon? Or is he just using the same Caterpie and Weedle? Bug Pokemon evolve young, so they get stronger much faster. But in return, they get weaker the longer you go. Keep it a level 10, I guess. I don't know. <laughs> you just have a Weedle. Okay, it's level 7, so... Technically, that should be a Kakuna still. Oh my god, it's another Weedle. I don't even have access to you yet. Now I want to use it. Oh, please don't poison me. I don't want to go back and heal. Yes, I only did one damage. God. Why is your Pokemon only level 7 to the critical hit? Just adding insult to injury to this tiny little bug Pokemon. Oh, uh, who do you got? Kakuna! There we go. It actually having its evolution. Finally something other than its first stage. Does that mean you're gonna have a Beedrill next? That would actually be cool. Having a fully evolved Pokemon already in the second gym. Too bad they're kinda weak. And yeah, wow, you have a Beedrill. It's a good required trainer showing off fully level 12 too. Not even that bad. But Ember Supreme. What? Critical hit again? We are getting a lot of criticals of Fuego. Wow. Might be just a lucky fella. I want to know if I could take out that Beedrill without their critical. I probably could, but like... Alright, moving on. 
Okay, so I know... Okay, you know what? We're just gonna do it. I know you have to get rid of it. Oh, well, I missed the trainer. Are you kidding me? Uh, is this a double battle? Hey, are you challenging the leader? No way. If you, if you insist, we'll be your opponent. No way is this a double battle. That That's hype. Okay. D double battle in a gym is actually cool. Oh, and you got some pretty unique Pokemon. Spinner, I can a ladybug. We haven't seen those yet. Let's get Venus some experience, too. Uh, let's just Vine Whip. Take out the Spinner with Ember. Pretty interesting. So, double battles, uh, if you don't know how they work, it's just basically the same thing as a single battle, except two Pokemon attack at once. It's still based off speed who goes first, but this includes a lot more strategy and whether you want to protect or set up or help your other Pokemon. It's just, I don't know. I like double battles. I don't see him too much in the main story of the game. Uh, we're gonna wrap you. Is that Fuego? I mean, Fuego got a level, so Fuego's level 19. Wow. Pretty poop. And just like that, tw the twins are down. I'm feeling a bit dizzy. All right. Oh, I should have hit that. Loki's stinking it up here. Okay, I want to hit this lever, though, because I want to go take on that other uh, trainer. Hello! You saved all the slowpoke? Woo, you're mighty, but my grown-up Pokemon are pretty tough, too. Well, if you think you're better than me, then you should have gone and booted off Team Rocket if you think you're so much better. You have one Pokemon. Are you? Par <laughs> Paris! What's crazy is that I'm still at a type disadvantage. Uh, hopefully you don't put any status condition on me. That's all I hope. Oh. Oh. That's doing a lot more damage than I thought. Uh... You can't... Just mine up? How much of damage will mine up do? Not that much. I mean, it's quad... Yeah. Ooh. Thank you for using Stun Spore. Thank you for missing, I guess. Uh, just keep using Wrap. God, ugh, that means I'm gonna have to heal. I don't wanna heal. Healing's for the weak. Free from Wrap. Yeah, okay, let's just change. I tried getting through this with Venus, but Fuego just remains supreme. And Ember you, because you're bug grass, and I can get you for quad weakness. Not like it matter because I'm six levels over you. And before we move on with this puzzle, I'll go back and heal, because there are no more trainers, so might as well. We'll be right back. Alright, so you do not want to pull this blue lever. You actually want to go back to the twins and pull the blue lever on their side, so you can go down to the bottom left corner. In which we haven't seen yet, so. And now we have made it to the gym leader. We are not going to be leading out with Bellsprout. We're going to be leading out with Fuego. I'm Bugsy. I never lose when it comes to Bug-type Pokemon. My research is going to make me the authority on Bug-type Pokemon. Let me demonstrate what I've learned from my studies. Well, let's see what you have learned, because being a Bug-type trainer is not the best, let me say that. Anyways, Leader Bugsy is going to lead out with his Ace Pokemon, something we have not seen before. But Scyther is going to be level 17, Bug-flying-type, holding a Citrus Berry Technician for its ability, with U-Turn, Quick Attack, Leer, and Focus Energy. Hopefully we can get this out. What it's gonna do, it's gonna have a... Uh, it's gonna be holding a Citrus Berry, so that might have been a bad damage roll, I'm not gonna lie, but it's gonna U-turn to its other Pokemon, basically. Oh, or it's gonna go for Focus Energy. I... Wow, that Scyther has speed to me. Hopefully that was just a bad damage roll. No. Citrus Berry is gonna heal it up, and hopefully, uh... Hopefully it does not get that crit U-turn, or crit Quick Attack, whatever it's doing. You're using Quick Attack. Hey. And... That wasn't even a crit. Okay, does my quick attack KO? No, it does not. Let's go back to Ember. 
you're gonna use your super potion. Second gym leader already has a super potion, so that, that's what we're dealing with. Got a better damage roll on that, so Ember one more time, unless you crit quick attack. You will not. And his only intimidating Pokemon is gone already. Yeah, let's just say his other Pokemon aren't the best. Remember when I said how all these Pokemon should be fully evolved? He's gonna send out a level 15 Metapod, pure bug type, shed skin for its ability, only knowing tackle. This thing should be a Butterfree already. <laughs> this thing should be a Butterfree already. See, if they were a Butterfree and his other Pokemon was also fully evolved, this gym would actually be a very scary second gym, considering, well, how we already have our second evolution. We're gonna learn Flame Wheel. Flame Wheel is just a better Ember, and it's physical, so I'll be getting use out of my physical attack stat, which is very good. And Fuego learned Flame Wheel. Well, why don't we test that move out on a spinal Pokemon, Kakuna. Kakuna will also be level 15, Bug Poison type, Shed Skin for its ability. Even though it's my last Pokemon, Bug Pokemon are tough. If only you had it evolved into a Beedrill. Only knowing Poison Sting. Yeah, I, I really don't know what they're doing with this gym. I'm not gonna lie. And Kakuna is down and out just like that. Ah, oh, that's the end of it. Yep, unfortunately, you're weak as hell. Whoa, amazing, you're an expert on bug Pokemon. My research isn't complete yet. Okay, you win, take this back. I am not an expert on bug type Pokemon. I am just way better at fighting, I guess. I also have a fire type. Do you know the benefits of the high badge? If you have it, Pokemon up to level 30 will obey you, even traded ones. Pokemon that know cut will be able to use it outside of battle too. Here, I want you to have this. TM89, this will be TM U-turn. Yep, it lets your Pokemon attack then switch out with the next Pokemon in your party. Isn't that great? Lift up this blue lever right here and you'll go back. Quite the easy second gym leader. Hopefully the next one is quite as easy as that. Nope. Alright, whoop. One more room, I forgot. All right, now that we're done with that, let us go heal up, and there's one more thing I wanna do. Hiker Anthony has something to say to us. Now he doesn't, we entered a building, so he's like, ah, oh, man, maybe there's no service in a Poké Center, I don't know. All right, the final thing I wanna do is, I didn't really go close to this gate whatsoever because... Tell me something. Is it true that Team Rocket has returned? What? You beat them? Ha! Quit lying. Are you serious? Then let's see how good you are. We have another fight with our rival, Silver! And let's just say he is not holding back any punches. He has some pretty unique Pokémon. Starting out with a Ghastly, which is only level 14, but it's Ghost Poison type, Levitate for its ability with the moves Lick, Spite, Mean Look, and Curse. Do not let it get a curse off. That is pretty dangerous. Also, if you have a Pokémon that only knows normal type moves, you're kinda cucked here. I'm not gonna lie. But, we have a Flame Wheel Fuego, so we are good, thankfully. 285 experience from Fuego, and I know what Pokemon you're sending out next. Yep, your starter is already on its second stage, just like ours, which is pretty cool, actually. His starter, Croconaw, will be pure water type, torrent for its ability, level 18 with the moves Water Gun, Rage, Bite, Scary Face. We are already slower than you, so that Scary Face isn't going to do much. Hopefully we can take you out before you get a rage uh, starting to build up, or you get bite flinches, that'll be bad too. We are not even doing half health, okay. Uh, I think we can just keep fine with things. You're gonna scary face again, even though you know that I'm minus two already. So now I'm minus four speed, which... Your fault, I guess, unless you're gonna bite crit. And, what are you doing? You have bite! Is our rival okay? Free experience for me, I guess. 550 right there, Venus level 18. I, you had many opportunities to go for bite. I don't know why you took any of them. Your final Pokemon is Zubat though. And that is a Zubat that I'm not willing to 
to have Venus be out for it. Zubat, final Pokemon, will be Poison Flying type, level 16, inner focus for its ability, cannot be flinched. Leech Life, Supersonic, Astonish, and Bite. The only thing you could really do is just astonish me at this point, or go for a Supersonic, but I outspeed you, doesn't even matter. And you're down and out. No damage taken whatsoever. Huh, useless Pokemon. No, I think that was your fault. Listen, you. You only won because my po Pokemon were weak. Um, I, I I think that was the trainer's fault. I hate the weak. Pokemon, trainers, it doesn't matter who or what. I hate to see them hanging around. That goes for Team Rocket, too. They think they're big and tough as long as they're in a group, but get them alone and they're weak. I hate them all. You stay out of my way. You will be an exception if you get in my way. His dialogue was altered a little bit in this remake. In gold, the original Gold, Silver, and Crystal, he talks about how he wants to wipe out the weak completely, which is a pretty massive statement for, let's just say, a kid. But I'm glad they took that out because, well, I don't know. I, I feel like that wouldn't fare well in today's generations. But that is all I wanted to do. Next time on Pokemon Heart, Gold, Soul, Silver, we'll continue on with our journey and see what's past Azalea Town. See you guys then.